Hello everyone, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be a daily collective tarot reading for May 30th, <coughs> 2018. So, four cards spread as per usual. Now, the first card that shows up the topic of the day and this is going to be the Emperor. The second card does expresses up things we should uh, not go for or things we should avoid doing. This is the Ten of uh, Pentacles. Third card that shows up <clears throat> things we should do or rather like what will help us in that particular day. This is going to be the Eight of Cups. And last but not least we do have the positive outlook in a long term in case you keep those conditions in check and that is going to be the death card. All right. So what we have as a topic of the day is that we need to attend seriously to our matters. Now the emperor does the more rough the situation is, the more uh, <clears throat> challenges one face, the more eager uh, draws from within and, and makes one more ready and more, um, how can I place it, more tenacious to deal with those, um, with those challenges, uh, issues or situations in general. When we do have the Emperor as a main topic, we need to be structured, we need to be consistent and on top of that we need to be very wise. <clears throat> And listen to those of our surroundings in the sense of people which are there to give us sound counsel, like uh, very close friends, like your romantic partner, for example, or your family people, which in general wants to see you persevere and go through greater heights. Very important to say to to be said as well is that the emperor is also about taking on responsibility, and that will play a huge role for that particular day. Looking at the next couple of cards, and this is the responsibility of realizing that we haven't taken the optimal. <clears throat> choice in the recent past or in other words we could have made the things better this is described here in the eight of uh, in the eight of cups so <clears throat> We need to recognize that because it's not way too late to change the course of events and intuitively we will be able to get back on track as soon as we realize as I said that we could have done the things much better all right and there is still a um, there is still time that we can opt the circumstances there is still time that we can back on our word because our word is yet not not uh, engraved in stones all right and uh, that being said, we could deny failure in that particular day and start anew on that particular ongoing enterprise, activity, relationship, project, you name it, depending on your uh, personal circumstances, and this time make the things right. So why the Ten of Pentacles comes as the things we should avoid? This is exactly adopting the standstill position where you don't want to recognize that, you, that it could have been done better, where you put your pride in front of your face, guys, and basically, uh, um, you it is again taking on responsibility for the actions but it is a complete lack of uh, sense that you could have uh, that you can change the situation basically your pride does not allow you to uh, admit that you uh, not that you have done wrong but you could have um, think more thoroughly about the situation either as I said into your relationship or into your career and uh, Made the things, uh, make make the things much better, or kind of like being more slight with the ongoing enterprises. So <clears throat> this will be about the day in general. Now, uh, what will um, that recognition of a uh, better way will involve you maybe saying sorry. It will involve you maybe making some certain compromises or apologize, you know, or even. Um, a lay a, a lay down a, a head showing that you are not almighty now this happens to every single one of us people which are born under, uh, under number nine they are especially threatened for that situation because the number nine is the prime number of pride it is the prime the prime number of self-confidence and self-respect and it is very hard for them to uh, acknowledge that they could have done it better 
<clears throat> because in general um, when they deal with something they adopt the, stand, the standpoint that no one can do it better anyway so this is in case um, you know your um, when you uh, when you summarize and break down your uh, birth of date you get number one then you have to be very careful and despite that you will struggle to admit uh, to admit that your actions could have been much more gentle, they could be much more determinate and they could be much more meticulous as well, uh, <clears throat> will cause issues in a sense of acknowledging it. So what happens in the long run when you actually um, when you actually acknowledge that that uh, you um, that you did these things or kind of like you could have done it better as we say and that as well uh, could relate to treating someone you could have treated someone better you know but yet you didn't treat them that way uh, for numerous reason every every single one of us had its reason for the time being but as i said it is not too late to change that so what happens here we do have the death card and as we all know the death card is about change but this is a part and it, it, and very much um, many people were confusing it with the tower card which is also written in the books as change all right so i want to say a little bit uh, a few words um, what is the difference in between the two cards the tower card is change which is forceful change all right the the, the things which is, the thing which is changing or transforming it could have been better all right but somehow we did some mistakes along the way and that's why we did it we end up in a situation which is a dead end situation while the death card it is a change and a transformation totally natural which means that you already exhausted the situation you consumed it you get the benefits out of it and now you are ready to uh, invite a, a new perspective in your life <clears throat> That being said, you can expect when you uh, when you keep these conditions in check, you can expect that you are find you are going to find a, a, a ultimate resolutions to your issues, which means that further into the future, maybe in a month or a couple of months, the issue you are facing right now, which you need to take responsibility of, will no longer be present, and even you will already being forgotten about it. All right, you will not be. Mm, you will not feel poignant about that uh, that particular event and as well is going to allow you to invite new life into uh, new life yeah into your surroundings and under new life that could be a new relationship new job new project you know it is all about that a 30th of may 2018 we have to basically do the right thing that is what the cards are telling and every single one of us has something that they're not doing right and that is either out of stubbornness out of pride or just because they are weak in spirit all right so pick up yourself together guys and do what is necessary for us to maintain our liberty and our independence because it's all about that being on the right track independently and um, basically push the situation naturally to uh, evolve and afterwards dissolve so that was the tower reading for uh, may 30th 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye